What's up guys? So today I got the Caribou Lodge Yo-Yo Works Compass. I got this from my mother for Christmas. CJ actually picked it out for her. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. I've actually had this for since Christmas and I haven't had any time to film because I had finals for my personal training certification, uh, which I passed and everything, but sorry I haven't been uploading much. I've just been super busy with that and my cousin had her surgery and blah blah blah. There's just been a hundred things going on, but anyways. So this review, I've already played with it a bit, so I'll be able to give a little more detailed review. But let's start off the box, real simple. This is a lime sherbet one, uh, designed in was it, designed in Canada, made in China, right there. Oh really? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. This yo-yo has been all around the world though, because I got it for Christmas and it came from Hungary, but it's a Canadian company and it was made in China, so it probably went from China to Canada, then from Canada to Hungary, and then from Hungary back to the USA. So this thing has been around the whole freaking world probably twice. But what I don't get is this is such a nice yo-yo and this is such a good company. Why do they just package it just in a cheap like cardboard box with nothing in it? I mean, it's got that in it. But like literally like that, it didn't have anything else in it. I opened it on Christmas, but it was just like that. Not even a piece of foam? Nothing, nothing, nothing. no foam, no paper. Wow. Nothing. I mean, it, did, it held up great. The box did get smashed a little in shipping. Yep. So, I mean, just that, I was like, oh, man, when I opened it. But I played with it, and uh, it has played great. And let's start off just by looking at it. I'll put all the specs on the screen. At a first glance, I thought it looked a lot like the jackknife. Um, but it, when I hold it upside to side, it's not too much like it. I mean, there's similarities, but it's quite a bit different. It's got a much more angular profile. It's also bigger in diameter. Um, the inside hub kind of looks similar, but this one's much, much shallower. This is much deeper. The they both have a decent thumb grind lip, but I feel like this one's even better. And uh, they are similar, but uh, they they're still quite a bit different. I've been playing with both of them, and yeah, but this colorway is just like awesome. It's like sprite, right? <laughs> yeah, it's sweet. What do they call it? It's like you know, take some uh, close-ups out. Yeah, man. Here you go. All right. Lighting's not so great today, but I mean, yeah, there's 50 mile an hour winds outside, and it's cloudy. cold and windy and raining. So, yeah, the finish feels real nice, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's awesome. But yeah, um, let's open it up. It has the red pads on it. Do you know what these pads are called? It's called snow tires. These are the snow if, tire if it's Caribou Lodge, they're always snow yeah. tires. Yeah. And the one thing about this, right when I got it, I played with it, and the bearing was totally seized up. It had a center track bearing in it, which I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna knock on Caribou Lodge for that because, the like I said, the yo-yo went all around the world, and it probably one time or another got left in a mailbox or somewhere where it got really cold. Who knows how long it was in my mom's mailbox? Like a lot of times people comment like, they, "Oh my yo-yo, it came with the bearing, blah blah blah." It was probably because it, you either left it in your car or left it in the mailbox or something and got really cold because that's not good for bearings. But I put it in a Diffy Yo concave, and yeah, it's just it plays. Just awesome with that. It's got a pretty thick axle. It's like not the longest, but it's probably about eight millimeters, seven or eight millimeters. I can't really get a good view of that, but it does have a Allen head on one side, so that's the side you want to be pointing up in case you want to tune it at any time. But I mean, I haven't had had to do that at all. But overall, the insides, you know, looks good. Like I said before, it's got a nice lip on both sides. This is, uh, how do you say his name? Oh, man. What? Oh, it's, it's, I guess that's Peter Kafka's yo yo. Peter Kafka. CJ is much better at names and stuff than me. I, I'm not, I never, I don't even know my own name. I didn't know it was a signature model until just now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but, um, yeah, so it came with this cool string, but. We're just gonna we're just gonna use a different it's, stick. It's so cool. We're gonna yeah, so leave it cool. right there by the banana. So cool that it's called in the garbage. <laughs> there you go. See you later. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna put on string we're used to using, and we'll be right back. Okay, guys, it's all strung up. It uh, it's quite comfortable in the hand. The one thing I want to say about this is it's it's quite a well-rounded yo-yo. Like especially by like one A standards, it can kind of do like all your different types of tricks. Pretty good because it's real stable, but it's still you know, still not that heavy, which for being a monometal yo-yo or, you know, one metal yo-yo, not a bimetal, 
it plays, you know, very, very nice. The finger spins on it are, like, stupid easy. It's, like, so easy to do, like, grind combos to go, like, from one grind to another. Like, to go from, like, a hand grind or finger grind or something to your thumb grind. You know, it's, like, crazy easy. Or from, like, to go from, like, one thumb to the other thumb. Oops. But yeah, overall, it's just, it's just a good yo-yo. It does kind of feel like the jackknife, but in my opinion, it's better. This is only the second CLY yo-yo I've played with. Besides, if you're not counting like collabs like the jackknife and uh, Expedition, Expedition and, and the Summit, you know, stuff like that. But so, what you had a peak before or something? Yeah, I played with Boyd Seth's peak once at a contest. I just played with it a while, but. I mean, I really liked it, but that was like, I don't know, eight years ago or something. All right, there, there goes that bearing. In my Diffie Yocon cave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, the center track, it came with this. I bet you if I just thin lubed it, it would have been fine, but I didn't have any thin lube, so I just swapped it out. But yeah, it's playing very good. It's, it's good for, you know, uh, off-axis stuff. It's good for pretty much, pretty much anything. So, like I said before, it's a good, like, well-rounded. But yeah, it's good, like, well-rounded 1A yo-yo. So, thanks, Mom. I appreciate it. Uh, very cool. Yeah, it took forever to get here, you know, when she, was, she, she messaged me on Facebook. She's like, okay, I need help. <laughs> she does this, like, every year, actually. And uh, I was already, like, looking at Yo-Yo Expert, and I was like, here's the link. Go get this one. And, like, I responded super quick. And then, like, two days later, she's like, yeah, I got it. And I thought she would have, like, used the link that I gave her. But they must have like sold out of that colorway or something, so she went on her own and found this other yo-yo website. Ah, oh, damn it! <laughs> there goes the street. But uh, what what was the story you bought it from? It was like uh, uh, yo-yo raven. Yo-yo raven. I guess they're out of Hungary or something. So that's why it took forever to get here. Nice. It's a new style. Six A. Broken string. Was that? Oh. <laughs> Post in the comments if you know what style that is. That it's actually called something when you have a. One half a string and one string on yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody done this before? Yeah. Ser before? Serpentine, I think maybe. I don't know. Man. I could be wrong. Yeah, man. Check it out. You guys so say you've never seen any new tricks. <laughs> well, you better watch this video. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> 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 but anyways, guys. Yeah, this is the CLYW Compass. Played great till the string broke, which I'm not blaming on the yo-yo. <laughs> so if you guys you know are looking for something and you maybe want a uh, Canadian yo-yo, you know. I'm Canadian. Chinese, Canadian, yo-yo. So <laughs> being Canadian and Polish. Yep. You know, it's cool to have a Canadian yo-yo. Did you guys know that? Dylan, yeah. Dylan's Canadian by descent, yeah. Yeah, my mom was born in Canada, and then my dad is, like, super Polish, so I'm, like, Canadian and Polish. There you go. Yeah. But anyways, please like, comment, subscribe if you liked this. If you didn't like it, you can, you can comment, too, if you want. I'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs>